All right, so now this is part two of this example where we're going to finish off with this information about cars arriving at some location in a minute. What we want to do is calculate part C, which is this uh, these moments of this random variable when m equals 2, m equals 3. Then we want to take consider moments about the mean, which is going to be here expressed in standard deviation, the skewness coefficient, and kurtosis. And again, the standard deviation, skewness coefficient, and kurtosis gives us a measure of the dispersion of the data. Is it leaning? Is it is it stretched out to the right, stretched out to the left? And the kurtosis gives us a measure of kind of the peak or flatness of the distribution or the data. And so we're going to be able to use that or these numbers to get to describe what the random variable or this PMF looks like. And so here. All right, so we recall the definition of the moment or nth moment of a random variable. And here for us, part C, so here in part five of, our, of this example problem here, part five, uh, we're looking at when m equals two. The second moment for us, sum of i equals 1 to 8. And this would just expand as. And it's pretty trivial. You know, it's a plug and chug. This is really good for a spreadsheet calculation. And if I plug and chug some numbers here, you know, all I'm doing is taking this work that I did and adding squares to the top of this right here, to each of the x values or the possible outcomes. And hopefully this comes out to 26.85. It's got some weird units, like cards squared. Similarly, the third moment, or the expected, and then similarly, the moment, or the expected value when m equals 3. Like this and the way I look at this number is with these numbers here in general these expected values I, I try to think of the analogy with moments of inertia and what it really does describe here is the shape of that PDF like in particular the expected the this m equals 2 is analogous to the moment of inertia of a cross-section or its resistance to rotating around x equals 0 right here or this vertical axis so how difficult would it be if I had a cross section that looked like this to get it to rotate around this value here around this axis here so it gives me a measure of that sense if you will uh, like physically that would be the analogy and let's see now what we want to do is look at measures of dispersion associated with this in particular standard deviation the skewness coefficient the kurtosis and so here and these are moments about the mean of the PDF so the standard deviation is related to the variance so the standard deviation squared is the variance of X which is equal to the expected value of X minus mu X squared like this and that means here this for a discrete random variable is the sum of i equals 1 to 8 like this right here and this is again expanded out this variance of x would be from 1 to 8 and uh, hopefully you're seeing how easy this could be in a spreadsheet, but I'm showing you the expanded forms here just for sake of co completeness. We had calculated earlier that the mean is 4.9 cars. So here, this mean value is 4.9 cars like this. And uh, maybe I should be using X bar, but it's the same idea here. And this is if I if I go through each of these.
and here we get 2.84 cars squared and then the standard deviation would be the square root of this variance which is 1.69 cars and then I could get a measure of the coefficient of variation which is the standard deviation divided by the mean and this would be 1.69 over 4.9 or 34.5 percent and this gives you know this coefficient of variation gives us kind of a relative measure uh, between random variables about how much you know dispersion I have in my data set right. yes okay so now you know that was that was this you know moments about the mean the second moment in particular gave us this variance and then I can look at the skewness coefficient which is this expected value about the mean divided by this cube of the standard deviation. So we're looking at the third moment. And in this case here, this is, again, a very similar calculation. The only thing that changes is that power. And this third moment about the mean is negative 1.497. And this skewness coefficient then is negative 1.497 divided by the, the cube of that standard deviation, which is 1.69 cubed. And this is negative 0.3128 like this and that means that my my distribution is stretched out towards the left or towards the negative side and so this number here just describes the way the distribution looks so if I go back and look at the PMF that I drew right here you can see that hey if I look at it you know my distribution is kind of stretched out more to the left all right Okay, so that gives us that def that understanding, at least, or that number would tell us that without knowing what the data, if we didn't have a plot of the PMF, we'd have a sense or a visual in our mind. Um, and then last but not least, we would be talking about the kurtosis. And, you know, this number is useful in this, sorry, to go back to the skewness coefficient, it's useful because we can use that to compare that to other random variables and compare their skewness coefficients relative to each other. Okay, uh, let's see. The kurtosis, which is kind of this measure of flatness, it's related to the n when m equals 4. We're just going to change those powers to 4. And that positive number means it's kind of maybe more peaked or pointier than something else. Some other distributions would be a relative measure. If we go back and look at the PMF associated with this variable, then we might be able to say, yeah, it's got kind of a peak to it. It's peaky, it has a, you know, at six uh, cars, it has a really high value around five and six. So it's kind of peaky. But again, this would be a relative measure to describe the shape of this PMF. All right, so all of this, hopefully you get you use this example as useful. Mean and standard deviation, obviously, are the most commonly used. Uh, mean, mode, median, and standard deviation, very common. Uh, the skewness is useful, giving you a sense of which way the, the PMF is stretched and the kurtosis, maybe not used as much, but still peaky or not peaky. <laughs> all right, take it easy.